Hey guys, my name is Elise and welcome to uh, this week's instalment of Wed Talk. You're speaking with us from Wedbit and we're speaking to the best of the best in the wedding industry. Look, uh, first of all, I have to apologise for our late start. As you can see, we've been a little bit dishevelled uh, this evening. But you can always find us over at www.wedvid.com.au. You can join in the conversation on the Wedvid Facebook group. And you can also share this video by swiping down on Android and left to right on Apple devices. So last week we were speaking to uh, Normie and Jack from Divine Studios. And we were chatting a little bit about how to get the best photography for your wedding. Uh, similarly this week, we'll be covering how to get the best cinematography for your wedding. So we'll be, we'll be talking about the difference between video for your wedding and cinematography. Um, obviously there were a few things we didn't get to cover last week as it was our first instalment. So do you, if you did have any questions that we didn't get to cover, feel free to comment them now. We once again have Normie from Divine Studios here to answer your question. Thank you for coming back again, Normie. Hey, that's all right. No problem. <laughs> um, so just as with last week, was there anything that you wanted to add? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we talked a lot about um, uh, photography and you know how, how to choose a, a photographer and what we felt was important about getting great photographs uh, for your wedding. Um, and so uh, what we probably wanted to, um, I wanted to just add to that is just a few small things that, um, that we've noticed uh, over a, a few years uh, in terms of um, Things that we think are important to get great photographs on your wedding day. I think one of the, the, the first thing is to have a pre-wedding meeting with your photographer before the wedding. Um, the reason that's important is because, um, um, you know, like uh, most uh, wedding photographers get booked about um, a year or so before the wedding. And so what happens is, um, what happens is that, um, is that uh, you know, you don't see the photographer for a long time before the wedding and then uh, what can happen is that um, you know like uh, suddenly uh, you know you're working together all day and you haven't seen seen the photographer a long time and so um, it's it's great to catch up before and just to um, you know just to um, hang out and um, you know build, build a connection again before the big day because um, that connection is really important on the day because um, if you have a great connection um, going into the wedding with your photographer, it's really going to show uh, in the photos. So uh, that's such an important thing. I think it's probably mm. the most important thing. Um, like, if, like we said yes, last week, I mean, it, the end result has so much to do with the subject feeling comfortable and, you know, trusting the photographer. So that, yeah. I think that is really important that, they, that you do get to know your photographer before you actually get them to photograph your wedding day. Yeah, just, just spending some time, like, the, the, the month bef uh, or, or the, the one or two weeks before the wedding, spending some time, you know, to, you know, um, hang out again and familiarize, familiarize yourselves um, with each other again and get that vibe happening, you know. Um, cinematography all the way from Raj. Thank Thanks, you very Raj. much. Yeah. Um, Thanks so much. Now, if anyone's got any questions uh, uh, about what we've just said, um, then just, um, you know, type it into the comment section or um, any comments. Um, I uh, would love to hear from you. Um, the second thing I would say um, uh, that's very important is um, uh, every photographer will probably talk about this is um, uh, is to make sure that your makeup artist is is really um, aware of um, the the timing. And I think um, uh, what happens is that you've got lots of different makeup artists, and most of the wedding, uh, makeup artists that do weddings, they actually specialize in weddings, but sometimes sometimes the makeup artist may do other types of makeup as well, and so um, sometimes aren't actually as um, focused as, as, as they could be on making sure the timing is exact, because if the makeup artist is a little bit behind schedule, or is a little bit late, um, that can usually um, affect the photography in, in, a, in a negative way.